and moved to 197 pounds as the new face in the lineup, Patrick Brucky, All-American from Princeton, continuing his last year here at Michigan. Did not wrestle last year because Ivy League restrictions in the COVID year. Excited to be back on the match. Dropped a close one last week to Jacob Woodley, also returning All-American, 197 pounds. But Patrick Brucky, a new face in this lineup. Currently ranked 10th in the country, gonna face Josh Loomer here. Miles Amin was representing the Wolverines as Pat Brookie looks for that double. Oh, nice double leg by Patrick Brookie and could look for some near fall here. And it looks like Loomer is injured. That did not look like a happy landing right there. You hate to see that as the coach has come to the mat and medical staff is just gonna, it looks like they're just gonna call this match. And you hate to see it if you're a wrestling fan. You don't want to see anybody get hurt. It's, that's just a tough position. You really hope that he's okay. I mean, what a beautiful double leg, but I don't think Loomer really had time to react. As I was saying, Miles Amin, the representative, All-American at 197 pounds last year, now looking to make his debut sometime next year for the Wolverines at 184 pounds as well as Stevan Micic looking to make his debut at 141 pounds. So some interesting faces coming into the Wolverine lineup right now, but to see this team at full force is going to be very dangerous for a lot of teams. And if they're going to make a running at a national title, you'd love to have those, you'd love to have Miles Amin and Stevan Micic back. And looks like they're going to end this match here. You hate to see it. We'll see what the call is. Loomer makes his way back to his feet. Looks like we'll see. And is he looks like he might be trying to wrestle here, gutting it out. Yeah, he's, looks like Loomer's gonna gut it out here. Hats off to him. Oh, oh yeah, and he is. So, a lot of respect for Josh Loomer, gutting it out here. That's why you love wrestling. These guys are as tough as nails. Brucky will have a 4-0 lead. Received the two-point near fall for a scoring position. Good shot, Brucky's so tough on his offense. Another double leg here. Your Loomer, you want to be careful here. Again, another takedown for Brucky. Returns Loomer to the mat. A lot of respect for Loomer here, but Brucky's just been very tough on his offense. Commanding double leg by Patrick Brucky. Looks like it's, oh, we're gonna look at a locked hands call here. We're gonna go one neutral. We're gonna look at the locked hands call here. Not able to see the replay here, but in front of the mat, it kind of looked like it was a locked hands call, but I thought that Brucky was able to get away with it, but he might not be able to. But if you're Patrick Brucky, you're not really worried about giving up a small point there. You've been so tough on your offense. at the call here. It looks like it is going to be a locked hands call. Looking by the expressions of the referees here. But like I was saying, if you're the Wolverines, you're excited to get some new faces in the lineup here, but when you get Stevan Micic and Miles Abi back in the lineup, it just changes the whole total dynamic. Wolverines are already tough, but when you get two Olympians back in the lineup, I don't think any team has that privilege. So it's going to be exciting to see the Wolverines at full steam uh, sometime in the next new year. As Miles Amin, like I said, was a returning Olympic bronze medalist. And Stevan Micic, a returning Olympian as well. 
Uh, so there is, so they changed their mind. There is no locked hands call. Looks like they changed their mind. And they want to wrestle here. Wolverine bench yelling, so there was not enough evidence by the review to confirm a locked hands call, which was no challenge by the Cal State Bakersfield uh, bench, so they will not give away the challenge, but a nice finish here again by Prunk. He's just been so good by that, with that double. So a lot of torque and muscle by Pat Brucky. And Brucky with a 8-1 lead here. And Brucky will lead 8-1 here. At the about two minutes left in the first period. Putting up some points, all takedowns for Brucky. Impressive offense, and Loomer, you gotta give him credit. Hats off to him for wrestling through his injury. Looks like he sustained in the first almost 10 seconds of the match. But has had really no response for Brucky's offenses. Brucky looking for a tilt here. Pat Brucky looking for some bonus points. And if you're the Wolverines, you're excited to have a guy like this in the lineup chasing bonus points. You lose Miles Amin going down to 84 and you replace him with a returning All-American. I don't think many teams have that privilege as Patrick Brucky putting on a showing here at 197 pounds in his dual meet debut for the Wolverines. Good shot attempt again by Brucky. And Brucky again with short offense, and he's just been no answer for Loomer. As Brucky's 14 points in the first period, super impressive. And he's got a cradle now. This will be the second one of the day. If he can finish it here, Pat Brucky gonna blow the roof off here. And a fall after a 14-point showing in the first period. Patrick Brucky. Getting the fall here for the Wolverines at 197 pounds. Half off to both guys, but man.